Hi, welcome back to Outdoor Gear and Skills. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about water storage. Um, a lot of you probably recognize these uh, blue 55 gallon barrels. Uh, we've got several of these uh, in our barn. And, uh, you know, right now we've got four of us, uh, my wife and I and our two boys, and we've got five total, so we've got a, a good amount of water. Nice thing about where we're living here in uh, Southern Oregon is we have access to uh, a large river. So we're able to get to water. Uh, I've got several uh, portable five gallon water containers as well. So we're able to get to a water source. When we lived in Utah, there was no water around. We had a, a pretty nasty lake that was uh, several miles away. And so extracting water and kind of getting it back was going to be a challenge um, in that situation. And we lived there for uh, 11 years. So being here, we've got uh, an access to a, a good water source. We have a way to extract it. Um, but my daughter is living in Roseburg and she doesn't have the river access that we do. And thinking of if, if something were to happen where they couldn't get water or water was shut off or contaminated or something like that. You know, they may not be able to get to the store. And if something like that happens, all the bottled water is going to go flying off the shelves uh, faster than toilet paper during COVID. So uh, I wanted to look at a couple options or, you know, something for her. So she uh, and my grandson uh, would have some water available. So I had one of these. I actually have a second one that we've had lying around for a while. And I started looking in them. They look like they've got some stuff that needs to be cleaned out. I don't have a high-powered um, uh, wash. Uh, well, I can't even think about what they're called right now, but I don't have a, a power washer. And uh, both of these, you know, they come with these two screw lids right here. And actually, this one has a hole in it. And so I don't like that, you know, not being able. It looks like there was some type of spigot or something on it that broke off. And so we're going to go ahead and do something else with this later uh, for our garden. But a couple weeks ago, when we were heading out of town for Memorial Day, we were going to the coast. And we stopped by Umpqua Survival here in Roseburg. And they had these IBCs. So these are intermediate bulk containers and this will carry 275 gallons of water versus 55 gallons it has a smaller footprint it's set up on a pallet but one of the things i really like about it is that down here it's got a, a spigot with a ball valve and it will drain from the bottom instead of the top and there's different adapters and things that you can get. They're all over Amazon uh, where you can put them on and then you can put a hose section. So you've got some flexibility. Um, you know, you could put a smaller pail or tub or washing something, um, you know, basin or something under there. But that's something that I'll be getting is uh, an attachment that I can throw a, a small section of hose on and then I'll be able to fill up buckets or do whatever we need. Fortunately, these are going to fit inside our barn, what I call our barn right over here. It's just a small section with a barn door and a dirt floor. And these are going to fit in there, so that will keep it out of the sunlight. It will help uh, control the algae and all that. I still am going to treat the water when I fill these up. I just have to get that dang barn cleaned out. But as I was looking, I'd been looking online, you know, like I said, to get the options for my daughter and just kind of looking at these with I looked at trying to get new caps and some said they were fine thread some said they were coarse thread and I just thought well maybe we just need to buy uh, a couple new ones and when I looked online they were running you know close to $150 so when we saw these for $200 they were all cleaned out these were food grade so that's really important for storing your water that these are food grade and so this is a, a, a really good option. These things are really sturdy. You can actually stack them on top of each other. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put them next to each other like a washer dryer. But, you know, water is a really important thing. Another thing that I did 
and um, I have been undermined in this attempt, but um, a couple of years ago, I took all our soda bottles, two liter bottles, and filled them up with water for our gray water. So if we had to wash clothes or, you know, bathe or something like that, I had, I don't even remember what the number is. I want to say it was something like 60 two liter bottles um, full of water. Those have been used to uh, give water to all these crazy chickens that are running around over here. And they haven't been filled back up. But that'll be another water option that we do. Because this is great that I'm going to have this much water. But I want to be able to drink this. And I don't want to waste this for washing up. Or washing dishes. Or clothes. Or trying to clean up tools or something after gardening. Or whatever the case may be. So that is uh, an option. Now based on the plastics, you're not supposed to drink um, water you know that's stored in the two liter bottles uh, so that's why I said I use it for my gray water but IBCs these things are all over the place um, so they're pretty easy to find I've seen them before like I said I just hadn't really thought about the option of using these as a water supply so that's just something that you know once it's in place here in a little bit and I, I get my work out for tearing apart that barn and and getting these in um, will be good. From what I saw online, uh, one uh, person, I think it was uh, Urban Survival. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think it was him. And he said that it takes about half an hour to fill these up. So that's not too bad. And, you know, once they're set up, you treat them and, you know, that water could be good for up to five years. So if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching Outdoor Gear and Skills, and we hope to see you out there.